Hey y'all, I'm Tiffany and welcome to Bro Girl Aesthetic. On this channel, I'll be posting some DIYs, thrift flips and hauls, renos, looks for less and more. So if you like that type of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be alerted to my new uploads. All right, so as you saw, this is a YouTube challenge. This particular challenge is a look for less challenge. Uh, this one was brought to you by Yami uh, at the Latina Next Door, and her co-host is Leonep, uh, DIY Beauty on Purpose. Uh, as you can see, these talented ladies both have a, a ton of great content on their channels, which I will link in the description box, as well as the playlist. Um, so to start off with this challenge, uh, I was shopping. Well, window shopping on my very favorite website, Tiffany's.com, because my name is Tiffany and I love Tiffany's. So I was, I don't know, I was just looking for inspiration, looking to see what they had that was new and uh, came across a section in their home goods, the color block. And I saw this, which as you saw previous, it's a pretty good fit to my white tray there. So I saw this rectangular platter and I said, well, I'm going to try that one. And I looked through some more things to see what else there might have been here. Uh, this $180 and then I saw this cake stand for $220. So I said, <laughs> okay, yeah, I could probably make something that looks like that too. And $220? How about no? <laughs> because I don't have that kind of money. And so I was scrolling some more, looking through the pages to see what else I might be able to find. And came across these. And they kind of look like a set that I have now. Uh, and I thought $575. Well, if I had the money, yeah, I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy them anyway. Maybe I would. But let's see if I can come up with something similar. So here we go. Here's the first object, that white tray. And we're going to see if we can... We're going to see if we can make it look like... The Denise one. And here's the plate that I found when I did a, a, a quick trip to the thrift store, uh, which you can check out on my Instagram highlights. I did a mini haul, thrift haul, but I found this plate. I thought it would be close. It was the closest one that I could find at the thrift store to the shape of the cake stand. And... Uh, it was really hard to, to find one, even though in the right size, this is 10 inches and the cake stand is also 10 inches. Uh, I wanted to try to be close and then I used this Glade uh, candle because I thought it would also mimic the shape uh, way better. I picked up a, a little glass, a, a regular glass cup that is similar too, but it wasn't quite as wide and it didn't look right. This one actually looks like it matches a whole lot better. And it's also approximately the same height as well. So those two pieces together will make the cake stand. And then here are the salt and pepper shakers. Now, I only got this set because I wanted the pepper grinder. My pepper grinder broke and I wanted the pepper grinder. Our tiny little town has absolutely nothing as far as department store shopping or anything like that. I can't get out to tra I can't get out and travel to shop, so it is what it is. So I grabbed these. They're Mainstays brand, which I believe is sold at Walmart. Um, that salt shaker has already been abused. Um, I'm guessing that's probably one of the reasons why it was a thrift store, but it didn't look like the pepper shaker had ever been used. So I said, I want that. All right, so <laughs> my shaky camera, because I was holding my phone as I was trying to spray paint, spray paint. I used this Rust-Oleum 2X, which I also have linked below. Uh, and I thought it would be way better than trying to put 82 coats of that generic white spray paint from the dollar store or family dollar, because Rust-Oleum is good. Everybody knows that. 
And, you know, look how big it goes on pretty quick. And that other stuff takes forever, it seems like. Um, it was like 8.30 in the morning uh, on this day and super hot. And Central Texas was, I think, where they were talking record highs at the time. But uh, it was super hot in the morning. And I wanted to get out and get it done before it was 100 and, oh, excuse me, 110 degrees. Um, so yeah, I'm out here in the morning, um, just spray painting. I think I actually ended up doing two coats. I'm not real sure. I don't really remember how many coats I did. I don't know. It's one of those days I can't really think. So here they are later done. Um, as you can tell, it's, the paint looks pretty good there. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm very tired today. So, to mimic the look of the Tiffany's piece, um, I'm going to paint on the teal color, and I'm using painter's tape to mark off approximately about where I think the Tiffany's piece was was blocked off and it looks to be about a third of the piece was blocked off for you know with the paint so using that I'm trying to get that straight i'm no good at this i'm never really messed around with this stuff so yeah i think that's probably about as close as i'm gonna get right I don't want it to be too crooked. <laughs> Just keep fixing, keep fixing. So I'm going to I'm going to hand paint, and I use this uh, Master's Touch acrylic in the color Viridian. Now, when I put that bottle next to my Tiffany's box, it's match. It's pretty close. I mean, it's really very pretty close. And it just so happened that, I mean, I saw it when I was at the store. I didn't even have my, my Tiffany's box with me. I just grabbed it on memory. So I was really, like, excited when I brought it home and saw how closely it matched my Tiffany's box. Yeah, the paint inside, not so much. Because while it, I'm looking at it here and I'm looking at the box and it's very close. There's just a hint more green in this Viridian. Uh, when it dries, it's different. So <laughs> here's the thing about Tiffany's. Their color is patented and trademarked and you can't get it like nobody can. Uh, you can get close. No one ever in the world is going to have the exact color of Tiffany's because, I mean, they've locked down their, uh, their Pantone color code is locked down. I mean, it's secret, <laughs> you know, and who can blame them, right? <laughs> this is why, I mean, you may be able to go get color matched at, at Sherwin-Williams or, or whatever. They're going to be able to give you a close color match if you go get regular paint or get paint swatch made and i'm going to try to do that because this is the color i want for the accent in my kitchen so but it's a great little experiment and i love the color anyway so enough of that yakking um so looking at the looking at the original piece on the picture without being able to zoom or anything it kind of looks like there's brush strokes and it's the only reason why accepting the idea that there are brush, brush strokes on this. And this is just one of those, you know, Dollar Tree brushes, super coarse, and it's not soft at all. But in this case, I was I was ready for that. I was looking for that. Um, and now I know if I ever, you know, try to do anything and make it look like, uh, try to, to do something and make it look like it's wood, to use this brush and it's in a two inch brush that came with because it'll look like wood grain um 
but yeah so this is just me going over and making sure I've got even amount of paint I guess and now that I'm thinking about it I should have gone the other direction so now I'm just gonna let sit and let it dry and for the the cup and or the cup the glade candle and the plate now have them sprayed and I'm going to hot glue and use E6000 as those crafters know E6000 for the long haul hot glue for the immediate hold um, as you can yeah some of the paint chipped off but I'm okay with that so I'm just gonna take my measuring tape and try to figure out my center as best as I can Because I want, you know, I want the, I want my candle to be centered. So I think I measured in at three and a quarter is my center, because it's like six and a half. Yeah. I'm not sure what I accomplished here, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I'm just trying to. Yeah, get an idea. So two inches all the way around, I guess, which would have been way easier than try to measure out the, the center point, but at least it gave me a place to start. But it is, it's two inches all the way around. Um, so here I am just drawing a little outline around the, the little outline around the, the candle holder so I know where I'm going to position that and now I can get my 6,000 in my um, hot glue if I hadn't been thinking about it before I would have glued it together and then painted it Again, this, it, you know, so something that uh, the little rectangular tray, when I saw that, I was excited to do the challenge with that. The other two projects were afterthoughts. Um, my sole intention was to do the, was to do that rectangular tray. Um, but I thought it would be really cool to do more than one thing. Um, and, and it was kind of like fate because I, I had decided that I was going to do the, I, I decided about, that I was going to do a dupe from somewhere. I didn't know where I was like, okay, well I need to do a dupe video. You guys like my anthropology inspired one so much <laughs> thousand, you know, like almost 2000 views. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, if you haven't watched it, I will um, also link it down below. But you guys really like that. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to do, <laughs> apparently y'all like dupe videos. So I'm going to do another one. And who better than Tiffany's because that's my, Tiffany's is my thing. So when I went to the site and went to look and I saw the, I saw the rectangular thing. I said, this is perfect. I have, a, I have something I can do for that. And then as I was scrolling and I saw the cake stand, I said, okay, let's go to the thrift store. Went to the thrift store, got the parts, the pieces parts for that, found the, well, I already had the salt and pepper shakers. And so when I was scrolling through the site and I saw those, I was like, well, I can try that. Uh, but I went to the thrift store to get the plate and a cup to make the cake stand. And when I came back was when I saw that Yami and Leonep had posted the challenge invite. So it was like, this whole thing was just like kismet. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I sat my tray, my rectangle up there to measure the, the, how about where to, to mark it off so it's almost equal to the um 
it's almost equal. So I've taped off all the way around where I'm going to paint. Same, same deal as the other. Um, and yeah, here, here, I'm actually showing you the, the paint that it, <laughs> I didn't do it before, but I'm actually showing you which one it is. It's such a nice paint too. You've seen it in the, um, my other trash or treasure video that I did. Um, one of the other challenges I used it as accent on a couple of pieces. So I think, I think on the, on the other, on the rectangle, on the little, on the little square one or rectangular one, I did two coats, but I might have only done one layer of paint on this cake stand. I can't remember, honestly, and I didn't record all of it. <laughs> It's already been a, a, a while ago. I <laughs> I have fibro brain, and sometimes I can't remember <laughs> from the, one day to the next. So I'm doing good if I can remember my name most of the time. Um, but yeah, I think I only did a couple of. I, I think I only did the one coat on this, and then touched up where necessary. <clears throat> and I didn't wait to let that cure that. Um, the glue for the stand so i'm being very careful in painting underneath because at any given moment it could probably just fall apart if i'm not 100 percent like careful with it so i'm just kind of i'm just kind of going along and uh, i did make a makeshift dome to go over it i picked up a, a plastic bowl from the dollar tree and a really cute uh a really cute diamond it looks like a diamond but it's not real huge or anything uh, but i got it from hobby lobby and i just hot glued it to the top like as the as a little knob but it, it didn't look right it looks kind of stupid so i didn't include it in this and it wasn't there's there's no dome for the cake stand i mean it wasn't part of the actual original item so i didn't feel it was necessary to include it it was just something i did i wanted to see if i could make it look cool so here I am, and I am sanding this, uh, sanding the plastic, because that's what they are. They're just plastic. They're not like glass or anything. Um, but I want the, the silver spray paint to stick. So I wanted to make sure to give it a light sanding. And I think I'm using like 120 grit, 160 grit. I don't remember. It was again, it's very hot and very, it was very windy because I think this is the next day that I was doing this. Uh, the next day after when I was, when I was painting that other, the other stuff. Um, but it was, it was very windy this day. And um, I think at some point here, you can see, I leave my, I kind of leave my sandpaper laid there on my, on my cardboard, my painting surface. And it's just kind of like, it's going to take off because <laughs> the wind's like blowing stuff around. I mean, it's, my camera is shaky, but I, the wind was literally just blowing my little um, camera tripod clamp thingy, my little phone clamp thingy. It was just kind of blowing it around. I was surprised it's as steady as it is right now because it was just so windy. I knocked over some stuff that I had sitting up outside and you know, it was kind of, it was kind of comical. Oh, 120 grit. Okay. And I just got that stuff from the Family Dollar. Let me tell you, I hate this. I hate the sandpaper. It's just the cheapest stuff. I mean, it it served its purpose, but you know, if you've got a heavy duty project, don't use it. So yeah, I'll just. Sand off the. Oh, and I scrubbed these really good too when I got home. Took a toothpick. I, you know, I don't know what that oxidation is. If it's something that happens, I have no idea. I mean, I scrubbed. 
I mean, there was still seasoning in them, except for the pepper grinder. It's, like I said, it's the only thing I was concerned with getting. So I do wipe them off uh, before I paint. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> I mean, it's just... Ew. So I did wipe them off with a, a wet rag and dried them off. So I'm using this Rust-Oleum uh, Specialty Metallic in silver, which I'll leave, leave links below. Um, you know, it goes on great. I mean, it looks, look how shiny and reflective that looks, right? And I was hoping for that. That's not what I got. And in hindsight, when I went to Wee Lobby, one of the few, one of the few opportunities I get to actually, you know, leave the house and, and go out of town to buy anything, I should have bought the looking glass spray paint because I was looking for a mirror finish, a chrome finish, but I didn't get that. So here's the end results of these then. Uh, you can see, and it could be the lighting too, but it dried a bit darker, but I'm really digging it. I mean, and again, with any other project, I can probably go back and touch it up and fix it up a little bit, but for right now, I think I'm pretty happy with, with that. There's the example, there's mine and there's the example. There's the huge difference, $178. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Um, it's not perfect, but it's close, right? And here, <laughs> see that Tiffany's box is not that, it does not look like that in real life. It is the lighting and it changes the colors, but, <laughs> and yes, that is a legitimate box. Uh, and those are my cupcakes <laughs> that I made. So overall, you know, another, what, a hundred and, ugh, math, $194, $96, $196, no. You know what, you do the math, I can't. <laughs> and here are the salt and pepper shakers. Now, this is probably, this is the jokiest of them all. I mean, yeah. It was worth a shot, right? You know, nothing is perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, what a joke. $575. Okay, $574 less than <laughs> I spent $1 maybe to make these. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, come back next time. Thanks. Bye.